morning, everybody. I hope you're having a great day today. I hope you've been enjoying some of our nice weather that we've been having. Um, we've been able to get outside a lot more. I don't know if you can hear it, but we've got lots of birds singing um, here by our house. So uh, let's open up today with some prayer. If you guys have any prayer requests, feel free to comment so we can keep you guys in uh, our prayers. We're thinking of you. We miss you. And uh, we hope you guys are staying well. And we can't wait to see each other again. So let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for the beautiful weather we have, uh, that we're able to uh, be safe and come together on the internet, even though we can't be together in person. And we look forward so much to when we can be together again. And I just pray you'll be with everyone today that you'll give them a great day if they have any needs, that you'll meet them where they are, and uh, that you'll just be with us as we learn more about you today. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, let's get started today. All the static, all the noise.
to kind of get into uh, ninja mode today for our memory verse so I decided to go all black here I don't have any shoes on my dirty feet from standing outside so let's go through our memory verse I know we've been doing it for a couple weeks but if you remember the motions you could do them along with me or we'll do it a couple times all together so we start with having respect for the Lord leads to life, then you will be content and free from trouble. And it's found in Proverbs 19.23. All right, you guys got that? Let's try it a couple more times together, and hopefully my neighbors don't think I'm crazy. <laughs> so here we go. Starting pointing to ourselves, ready? Having respect for the Lord leads to life. Then you will be content and free from trouble. Proverbs 19.23. Oh, get nice big kicks. I can't kick very good anymore, but I'm, I'm getting better. <laughs> Let's do it one more time, all together. We'll get our ninja moves to get yourself all warmed up. Okay, I'm gonna put my hood up for this one so I can be all stealthy. All right, here we go. Ready? Having respect for the Lord leads to life. Then you will be content and free from Trouble. Proverbs 19, 23. <laughs> Great job, everybody. Eugene San, you have worked hard the last three weeks. You have grown as a person and learned much about the ways of the ninja. I am proud of all you have accomplished. Really? Thanks, Master. But Eugene-san, you still have much to learn. I do? A true ninja always must learn. There is more I can teach you about being quick, being strong, and being stealthy. Is that so? There are things you can learn about proper diet and exercise. You don't say. 
And then there are other things to learn. Ninja things, like nunchuck skills, sword skills, throwing star skills. Ooh, holding back on all the cool stuff, huh? But if you are going to learn these things, you must learn this above all else. You must listen to your master. You cannot rely on your own wisdom. You must rely on mine. Well, okay then. Okay? Yeah, okay. You want me to rely on you? I will. Really? Just like that? Well, what are you acting so surprised for? You want me to be a good student, right? Of course. Then why wouldn't I listen to you? Well, you haven't listened to me before. You thought you could do it all on your own. Hey, a guy can grow up, can't he? Eugene, son, you are not merely growing up. You are growing wise. I am? I am truly proud of you. With an attitude like that, you can become a great student, and in doing so, become a great ninja. You really mean it? I mean it. Even better than Snake Eyes from G.I. Joe? Even better than him. Then teach me, Master. Whatever you have to say, I'm all ears. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> what do we do? Ready for some vegetables. Mmm, are those good? What vegetables do we have here? Um, mm. some yellow and red tomatoes, and we have some carrots and beans. Yeah, these are good sugar snack peas. Do you like vegetables? Yeah. Do you like vegetables, Aurora? Yeah. Let me yeah. try the yellow one. How many of you like vegetables? I hope you do. Why not? They have good minerals and vitamins, and they're good to help you to stay healthy. Mm, yeah. I hope you do eat vegetables every day. And if you do, who taught you to eat vegetables every day? Who taught you to eat vegetables every day? You. Yeah, your parents. Your parents love you. And they're very wise, and they know the more vegetables you eat, especially when you're young, the better off you'll be when you're grown up. And so it's important for us to listen to our parents because they have great wisdom they can share with us. They can teach us how to be good friends and how to be healthy, like eating vegetables and exercising. They can teach you what to do to be safe. And most importantly, they can teach you how to love God. And so it's important for us to listen to the grown-ups that God has put in our lives, whether it be your parents or your teachers or pastors or coaches, any grown-ups that you have in your life that share wisdom. It's important for you to listen so you can become wise too. So if you have a grown-up or two or three in your life, you should thank God for them and continue to learn from their wisdom so that you can become wise too. Right? Are these good? Yeah. And mm -hmm. you always have to eat them because they, they have good vitamins and they can help you from getting sick. Yeah. That's right. The healthier you are, the less likely you are to get sick. Are these good? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You say bye-bye? We're going to eat our vegetables. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Does it have the power? See if you can tell which items have the power to perform different tasks. Stand up if you think that this paper towel has the power to hold a brick. Sit down if you think it does not. Power! Stand up if you think that this string has the power to hold this weight. Sit down if you don't think so.
fail. Stand up if you think this hammer can crush this rock. Sit down if you don't think it can. Fail. Does this squirt gun have the power to knock this box over? Stand up if you think so. Sit down if you think not. Playing, does it have the power? <laughs> okay, so today we are finishing up our curriculum on Bible Ninja. And I know the past three weeks we've been talking about different traits that ninjas have, um, like being quick more strong, more stealthy, and whatever kind of ninjas you're talking about, whether they're from the Far East or wherever they're from, all ninjas have something in common. Can you guess what it is? All ninjas have a master. They have someone who's teaching them how to become a ninja. With the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, they had a master, right? The rat... Splinter? Splinter, yes. I didn't want to get it wrong. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've seen the Ninja Turtles. So they had a master, the rat named Splinter, who taught them everything. G.I. Joe ninjas, Snake Eyes, and Storm Shadow had masters who taught them both what they needed to do to be a ninja and how to fight and how to do things. And every student has someone who is their master, who is their teacher. And you guys have a lot of people in your life who are your elders, as we like to, it's a fancy, nicer way to say old people. <laughs> Us old people, you know, who have the wisdom that we've gained in our lives that we're able to share with you. And so some of those people are your parents, of course, they have lots to teach you. Also your teachers in school and at church. They have things that they can teach you, uh, or a coach. If you are in a sporting uh, club or a sporting team, you have a coach, someone who's there to teach you all about the game and how to do what you need to do, and you know, or any other kind of thing. If you learn, you know, if you do some art or dance or anything like that, anything that you want to learn, there's someone who's there to teach you and to help you. And it's important when you're a student and you have a master that you should listen to the person who's teaching you. Now, what do you think a ninja master would do if their pupil wasn't listening? Would they be able to continue teaching them? No, of course not. That's not going to work. Part, it's just as important for the student to listen as it is for the teacher to teach. And not just to listen, but to actually do and practice what the master or teacher has showed them or taught them to do. And so we're going to look at a portion in the Bible. I know we've been talking a lot about Proverbs. And so our portion of uh, the Bible verse, uh, it's not really a story. I know usually when we do Bible stories, it's all about a story of something that happened. But this section, it's a little bit different. It's not really a story because it's a book that Solomon wrote, and it's sharing his wisdom. Because God had asked him and said, you know what, I'll give you anything you want. What do you want? And Solomon asked for wisdom, which was super smart to ask for. And so God gave him all this wisdom, and so he wrote this book sharing all of his wisdom. He didn't write it for himself. He wrote it for his children and for all of us to read, too. And so the portion we're going to focus on today is in Proverbs chapter 4. If you have your Bible or your phone or whatever, we're going to look at five verses in Proverbs chapter 4 and see what wisdom we can get today. So I'm going to pull it up on my phone here. 
Okay, so Proverbs 4, verse 10, we're going to start with. And it says, Listen, my son, accept what I say, and the years of your life will be many. I instruct you in the ways of wisdom and lead you along straight paths. When you walk, your steps will not be harmed. When you run, you will not stumble. Hold on to instruction. Do not let it go. Guard it well, for it is your life. Do not set foot on the path of the wicked or walk in the way of evildoers. Avoid it. Do not travel on it. Turn from it and go on your way. So here Solomon is talking about saying, hey, I'm giving you the wisdom that I've gained in my life. You know, from my experiences or things that I've heard or seen or learned, the things that God has shown me. Stay on this right path. Don't go down the path of wickedness. Even though it might look like it could be fun, don't do it. You know, you stay on the right path and you're not going to fall. You're going to do, your life is going to be so much better if you stay on this path. So how many of you have ever had a grown-up, maybe your parents or grandparents or a teacher or a mentor, whoever, have they ever told you a story that started out, when I was a kid... And I'm sure maybe some of you hear that and you're like, oh, you know, we have to hear a story about when you were a kid. But you shouldn't roll your eyes because all, most of the time when grown-ups are telling those stories, they're telling you to teach you something. They're sharing something that they learned because, hey, we're all human. Everyone makes mistakes at some point. And so the grown-ups in your life are trying to share the mistakes that they've made with you so that you don't have to make those mistakes. And sure, you could decide, well, you know what? I'm going to just do it my way and figure it out myself. And I guess you could do that. But it's so much wiser to listen to what the adults and the grown-ups in your life have to share with you because they're sharing with you the things that they have experienced to help you not make those same mistakes. And so isn't it smarter if you know something's going to be bad or it could possibly turn out not so great for you to listen to the grown-ups in your life and do something different, it would save you a lot of pain and a lot of frustration if you knew that you could avoid something that was going to be bad. And so God has placed those people in your life for a reason. And I know sometimes you might not want to listen to them. And hey, grown-ups, I'm sure you can ask your parents who are there with you today, they aren't perfect. They don't have all the answers for everything, right? Sometimes we still need to learn too. Just like kids need people who they can learn from and teachers or mentors that they can learn from, adults still have things that they can learn too. And we're all still learning. There's still things that my grandma is learning. I'm not going to say how old she is, but she has lived a very long time and there's still things that she can learn too. And it's important for us to be willing to learn and to listen so that we can become wise. And that is something that we can do forever, not just with the people around us, but even with just reading our Bible and talking with God. There's always things that he can teach us. I'm sure any grown-up that you talk to who has been a believer for a long time has read the Bible more than once, probably read through it a few times. I wonder, I think the next time you talk with Pastor Dave when we're all back together, you should see how many times he's read the Bible all the way through. I'm sure he's probably lost count by now. But every time you read the Bible, there's still something that God can teach you from it. And so don't ever think that you've learned as much as you can or that, you know what, you'll just figure it out on your own. You could do that, but it's much wiser to listen to the grown-ups and the people God has put in your life. And so that you can continue to grow and become the person that God has created you to be. So I just want to encourage you to think about the people that you have in your life that are your masters. They're not really your masters, but like a ninja master, someone who teaches you. So your parents, teachers, coaches, whoever, anybody in your life, think about who those people are. And make sure that you pray and thank God for them today. And ask him to give you wisdom and to continue to listen to those people that he has put in your life.
because they're there to help you and to teach you so that you can have the best life that you can. So let's pray together. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for all the people you give to us, for our parents, our teachers, all of the grown-ups that you have put in our lives, and even in the grown-ups' lives. There's still people who can teach us too. We're never too old to learn more about um, what we should do and how to do the right thing and to follow what you want us to do. And I just pray you would give everyone wisdom today to listen to the people who are there to teach them. Even though it might be frustrating and we might want to do it our own way, help give us the wisdom to know that there are people who can help us to do it the best way. In Jesus' name, and everybody said, Amen. Have a great day. We can't wait to see you again. And we love you all very much. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed our final lesson of the Bible Ninja curriculum with Miss Mia today. And we're going to go ahead and wrap up our video with some lesson trivia questions. If you've never played with us before, that's okay. Today we're going to do a word scramble. So let's unscramble the names of these special people who can help us gain wisdom. And if you'd like to go ahead and put your answer in the comments below, then we can all play together. Number one. This person held you before you were born. If you guessed mother, that's correct. Number two. This person helps you in school. If you guessed teacher, that's correct. Number three. This person loves you no matter what. Father, that's correct. Number four, this person helps you at church. If you guessed pastor, that's correct. Number five, this person helps your team. If you guessed coach, that's correct. Thank you for joining us today in our virtual service. And just remember, ninjas, like all martial artists, become successful because they learn from their teachers. They respect their masters and seek out wisdom. But fools trust only in their own ideas. I hope that you've learned through these four weeks of the Bible Ninja curriculum that there's great value in following the wise instructions of others. So let's be wise like the ninjas. And let's listen and learn from those who can help us. See you soon. God bless you. Bye-bye.